Hello, this is Artem from Xereal and today I'm going to introduce one of the most requested features for Cut Plus toolset, which is an integration with Solar's PDM Professional. Next version of Cut Plus toolset Premium Edition would allow to run Batch Plus and Export Plus functionalities directly from the Solar's PDM Professional tasks. Let's start by automating the exports of HTML files in Solar's PDM Professional. Let's start by creating a new task in SolarWorks PDM Administration tool. We need to select the Cut Plus toolset from a drop down, and we have an option to create two tasks. One is based on Batch Plus, and one is based on Export Plus. So let's select Export Plus first, because this is a tool which allows us exporting HTML files uh, via eDrawings. So we need to specify the name of the task. We need to assign the execution method. We can optionally create a context menu, and now we need to configure the task by selecting additional options. The first step would be selecting the version of the drawings to run. We can keep default, but if you have multiple versions, I recommend to assign that specifically. Now in the input tab, we can configure what files need to be processed by the task. In the filter, we can specify the extensions for the files we want to process. I'm just going to keep the default one to process all solvers files. We have additional options such as processing all sheets of configurations individually or we can for example specify the option to process only top level files in a folder. The output tabs allows us to define the rules for our exports. So the first option would be specifying the output directory and I have an option to use the relative to the source file and I'm just going to create a subfolder called HTML and this is where all my HTML files are going to be exported. Next step will be configuring the export formats and we have several formats to select from a drop down. We can also export to multiple formats at the same time. We can use a dynamic placeholders to configure our dynamic file naming. So for example, this one is just going to add an index to the file if the file already exists. We can also use predefined variables such as revision version from PDM, value of variable, etc. So let's just customize that export to be a file name, dash version, and then the optional index if file already exists. We can further customize the output. So for example, we can uh, check in the generated files automatically into the vault, and we can add the references between the source file and the original file. So let's select the check in generated files option. We can also transfer the data card variables from the source file to the destination file. Let's configure the rule to fill the part number variable and copy that from the original source file of SolidWorks to the output HTML file. So let's select the variable part number in the drop down as a destination and our expression to the value we want to fill. We can use a dynamic expression. And in our case, I'm just going to read the value of the variable called part number. We can customize the resilience options on the resilience tab. So for example, what is our timeout and should we want to continue on an error? And also recommend to output the detailed logs so you can always validate the result of your operation and troubleshoot the problems if any. PDM tasks created with Cut Plus are the same as a standard task in SolarWorks PDM, so you can integrate them into the workflow. So let's modify our workflow to automatically trigger the task when the file is going to the approved state. So I just want to change a couple of transition and add an action here and select an execute task, select the task you want to execute and just specify the name of the task. So now let's save our workflow and let's go back to our PDM world. We have several files in the pending approval state so let's just change the state for those files and move them into the approved state. This will automatically trigger the export HTML tasks. So let's just open the administration panel to track the progress. We'll be able to see the new task in pending in the tasks list. So you can see that it is now waiting for host. So once it's found the host, it's going to start executing and exporting of HTML files. As you can see, the process has already started, which means that our files have been processed and exported to HTML files via Export Plus. So let's wait for this task to finish and then inspect the results. Task has been successfully completed. Let's click on that, go to Details, and we can now inspect the results in more details. Journal tab contains more information about our export, such as summary, what files have been processed, what is an output, and log. As you can see, HTML's folder with file has been created and all of the files named according to our schema. So you see it is a file name of the original SolarWorks file, dash the revision number. 
When activating data card, we can see that our part number has been transferred from the original solar's file to the output HTML file. You can open that file using the browser. This is just an HTML file, so you don't need any drawings to actually load that file and can be opened on any device. HTML file also supports configurations. If you activate the tab, you can see only one configuration has been captured. So let's go back to our PDM and activate the source solvers file of that container model and see what configurations are available. So if you go to our data card, you can see there are actually three configurations, but only one has been exported. Let's open this file in Solar's eDrawings to investigate this issue. So you can see there is no configuration tab available for this multi-configuration part file. Let's open that file in Solar's now. We can open read only just to inspect this file. If you want to allow a drawing street solver's configuration information, we need to click this add display data mark for each configuration we want to expose to a drawings. If you would want to do this manually, it could be a tedious task. When we have such tedious tasks, this is where solver's APIs or macro will come to a rescue. So let's activate the search engine and look for the macro in internet. So we can find the macro available at the CodeStack website. So let's just open that macro. And we can learn what this macro can do and can copy the code and add this to our VBA macro. And I'll show you how you can run it automatically from Solar's PDM Professional. I have already saved the macro to our PDM vault in the macro subfolder and it's called add display data mark. So let's now activate Solar's PDM administration tool and create new task to run that macro automatically. Similarly to the steps before, let's create new task. And we now can select cut plus tool set from the drop down. And now we're going to use batch plus task. It's slightly different. So let's name it at display data mark. So for the execution method, we're also going to select our machine. We're going to create a context menu for these tasks. And now you see there is a different option to configure this task. We need to select a SOLIDWORKS version we want to run. And there are some other options. If you have used Batch Plus before, you can find those options are very similar. So you can configure the way you want to start your SOLIDWORKS. So for example, it could be started in a safe mode, in the background, in a silent mode. You can also open all files, rapid or invisible mode, or read only. I will select automatically save documents so we can commit our changes when we added display data marks. So let's now go to input tab and configure some options. Display data mark can only be added to parts and assemblies. So let's customize our filter to only process solvers parts and solvers assemblies. I will also select options to automatically check out and check in solvers files when display data mark is added and you can add the corresponding message to our check in. I will check the allow users to select files on launch and this would allow me to select the exact files I want to process before the task is actually started. Now we can browse the macros we want to run when this task is started. So I can just select the macros from our PDM vault and I'm going to use a display data mark which I saved previously. This macro does not produce any new files and it only modifies an existing, so we can skip the output tab because it's not relevant in this macro. For the journal, I'm going to output the detailed log and detailed reports. So I'm just going to select this folder. And now we can click OK. So this task is created. So I'm not going to add this task to the workflow. Instead, I'm just going to run it from our context menu because I have checked the option to create a context menu for a task. So when I selected the files, you can see there is a new context menu and let's call this command. So you can see now I'm presented with a dialog where I can further refine my search and I can select the files I want to process. And this has happened because I selected an option to allow user to select file on launch. So I just process one file called container and now this task is run. Task is now processing this file in SOLIDWORKS and running the macro. We can also check the status in our task list. So you can see that this file is actually now checked out, probably opened in SOLIDWORKS. And you can see there is now a display task completed. And we can also inspect the journal. So you can see one file has been successfully completed. And now let's take a look at this file. And let's now 
run that file through the state change so we will produce new HTML file and now I expect all three configurations to be included in this HTML file so now we change pending approval and let's go to change approved so this will trigger the exporting of HTML file so the version of our file has also been increased so you see it's now version 11 so we expect that file called container-11.html to be produced in this folder. File has been successfully exported. We can now open this file in a web browser and validate the result. Now when the model loaded, we can activate configuration stop. And you can see there are now all three configurations available in this HTML file. Batch Plus for PDM Professional enables endless possibilities for your automation, as you can run any macro as a part of your SolarWorks PDM routine. VPA macros are very powerful, but they do have their limitations because they are based on an obsolete Visual Basic language. To address this issue, we also introduce a new type of macros called XCAD macros based on .NET, which you can also run as a part of your Batch Plus. This would allow you to create more stable, more reliable automation macros for your workflow. Let me show you another use case. Sonos PDM has a built-in task to export files to various formats. It however cannot export individual bodies. So here I have an assembly which is using multi-body parts and the requirement of that project would be to export each individual solver's body to the separate file for manufacturing purposes. I can use Properties Plus standalone within SolarWorks PDM to quickly inspect the structure and the properties of this assembly. So let me activate cut list option. You can see there are multiple cut lists and all of them have a part number. I'm going to use the value of part number cut list custom properties to name the output files for the export of SolarWorks bodies. Now I can add the new task in my PDM administration. Similarly, I will select cut plus toolset. I'm going to use batch plus task. I will name this as export bodies. For the execution method, I'm just going to run it on the same machine. So I'm just going to create a context menu in case I want to manually trigger the task. So let's select SolarWorks version. So this task is going to be export task. So I can just uh, use read only option to open my files. And the input, I'm just going to specify the files I want to process, but it's only available in SolarWorks parts. So I'm just going to specify SLD purity filter. And just let's add the macro. And I already have a macro in my PDM vault. And this macro is a XCAD macro. So let's open macros. And there is an export bodies. So you can now select a filter to only show the XCAD macros. And let's select this export bodies one. This macro supports arguments, so you can pass the names of the files you want to process as an argument to this macro. Please take a look at the video in the description of this video where I talk about Macro Plus. It's a new framework which is going to be introduced in the next version of Cut Plus toolset and is available in Toolbar Plus, Batch Plus and Batch Plus for SolarWorks PDM. And it allows quite an extended options for your macro development. In particular, you can pass an expressions as an arguments to your macro to be processed within the macro itself. So in this particular one, we're going to pass the full pass of the files we want to process and we can use multiple arguments so you can actually produce multiple files at the same time. I want to configure the output naming to be a file name of the original file, so I can just use a file name variable. Then I'm going to add a free text as a dash, and then I'm just going to use the value of the cut list custom property, and I need to specify the name of the custom property, which is part number in my case. I also want to include the quantity of my cut list item into the output file name, which is going to use a quantity placeholder, followed by the extension of the file I want to output, so step in this case. I will also want to output this into the subfolder called MFGs. So let me just copy that argument and paste it as a second argument. Now I'm just going to specify the another file format, which is IGES in this case. 
I will intentionally introduce a mistake here and I'm just going to mistype the extension for the IGS file. So the correct extension will be IGS. I'm just going to put it as IGS. So this is not going to be processed correctly and I just want to show you how Batch Plus is handling those cases. I will also select an option to automatically process all configurations. So if you have multiple configurations, Batch Plus will activate and export each of those. So now let's select the output option to check in generated files and select our folder for the logs. I want to automatically run this task when the file is moved to the approved state. So let me just modify the past approval and change approved transitions and add new action here to execute the task to export bodies. I simply need to add an action to the corresponding transitions and select export bodies task and specify the name. Now when the changes have been applied, I can save my workflow and test the result. So I'm just going to move files through the transition and see how the output files are produced. So I'm just going to select all of those files and I'm going to change state a couple of times to reach the approved state. So let's go here and let's change state again. So now those files are going to be approved and are going to run the task automatically. Let's open the tasks list panel in the PDM administration tool to see the task. So you can see there are two tasks are running now. So one is exporting HTML files and another one is export bodies. So the first one is going to be export to HTMLs. That's a quite large file, so it may take some time to process. So it took a couple of minutes to process this in eDrawings. So when it's finished, you can see the second task is now started and you can see the solvers is appearing on the background. Batch Plus will open each file and export individual bodies as per the specified settings. This process will take a few minutes, so I'm just going to increase the speed of the video. Task complete, but you can see it is marked as failed and the reason is I have specified the incorrect extension. So let's click on details and inspect the results. Let's go to journal tab, go to report. So you can see there are warnings and when we click the files produced, you can see step file has been successfully produced while our ages files have failed. We have selected an option to export individual configurations. So that's why we have a notes here for each configuration and you can find the exact error why those files have not been processed. So you can see the file name accession does not match the solver's document type. Of course, we can just fix that by changing our task and specifying the correct extension for IGES file. Let's finally go back to our PDM vault, refresh the view, so you can see there is a new MFG subfolder which has several files of our export. So we can select, let's say, this file and go to preview. So you can see this now is an individual body exported from Batch Plus. So let's open this one. So you can see this uh, individual bodies of the body solvers part. And just to validate, we can open the body solvers part and can see that this one is a multi-body part. So let's talk about this one, go to preview, and you can see this is a multi-body part. Please contact us if you have any question about this tool. You can find our contact information in the description. Thank you for watching this video.